in this how-to video, I'm with Gio, and we're going to be talking about how you actually um, secure a self-centering chuck onto a lathe. Now, Gio, it might sound simple, and it is sort of the sort of stuff we've all done during our apprenticeships, but for people that this is the first time they maybe looked at engineering, explain what, what you do and how it works. Well, I think these how-to videos are really just to illustrate and educate kind of people getting into engineering, but even engineers that have been in it for a long time sometimes can fall into bad habits, and, and this kind of uh, illustrates the right procedure that you should follow when mounting a, a scroll chuck to the spindle nose of a lathe. Now, as we all know, all spindle, spindle nose of lathes are all different. So when you take that in consider, can, into consideration, the first thing that you will need is an adapter plate to fit onto the spindle nose of the machine. You'll need to make sure that the spindle nose is clean, free from any debris, uh, and maybe even put some lubrication on there. Secondly, you'd mount and bolt the, the adapter plate to the spindle nose if it's required. Sometimes when we've done our apprenticeship, Paul, you'd have a, a cam lock design. That's right. Yeah, and it'll exactly. just go straight on. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. that's very simple. So the adapter it? plate means that you can have different variants of chucks and spindle note on different spindle nodes. Exactly that. Say, for example, I was Mr. Customer and I phoned up Bison as an example. This is a, a six jaw chuck on, on this particular uh, video. I find them up and says, I want this particular chuck for this lathe. The, the back end of a chuck um, is, is, is different to the actual spin. It won't fit directly on there, so that you would have to make an adapter plate to, to, to be the mating part in between. Once the adapter plate is onto the uh, spindle nose of the machine tool, you clock that adapter plate up to make sure it's running ra radially true, but also true across the, 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 the face and of it. And what happens if you don't do this properly? Well, you'll never get the, the chuck running true. The, the, you'll never get the results that you'd look to achieve and it, well, it'd be an absolute disaster really. So when you're looking to turn parts, it, they, they would, they, 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 what you're holding on and what you're turning will be totally, yeah, yeah, totally yeah. incorrect. Well, it just shows how important work holding is in the process and not just that, how you actually have to go and set it um, to make it right. Um, so these are a range of Bison videos, are there, that people can find and uh, research and learn these, these simple things themselves? Absolutely. I think these are great videos for educational facilities, for universities, and for people looking to get into engineering at, at, at kind of any level. Um, you can find them on the MTDCNC platform or Bison's own channel and their YouTube channel.